Welcome to Learners Planet, my dear children. Children, in today's session, we are going to study about the one and only living planet, our Earth. So, let's start. Children, our Earth is a very beautiful place. And there are different kinds of plants and animals here. Means, our Earth is the only living planet on which we can see different kinds of plants and animals. For example, many different kinds of plants like herbs, shrubs, creepers, climbers and many animals like domestic animals, wild animals, birds, etc. But are we taking good care of them? Yes, plants and trees are very useful to us and you must be knowing that human beings are cutting down trees without planting more of them. So, this is not a good sign. Are we taking good care of our plants and animals? No, we are not taking good care because we are cutting down the trees without planting. Right? So, that is not correct. As a result, what is happening? Yes, the earth is no longer as green and beautiful as it used to be. So children, always remember that you should plant more and more trees. Okay? So children, here you can see the pictures of the earth. Right? Our earth is being polluted day by day by various human activities like pollution from the industries and the factories are affecting our earth and in this way as a result the earth is no longer green and beautiful as it used to be right so we should take care of our one and the only living planet that is our earth so children now we will first study about trees so how much trees are important for our life yes trees help us in many ways right children we use wood for building furniture etc right and the wood used for buildings furniture etc is called timber and also the roots of trees hold the soil and thus reduces soil erosion. Children, you must be knowing that trees are very important to us and they help us in many ways. So how do they help us? Yes, they reduce soil erosion. What does reduces the soil erosion? Yes, the roots of the trees. What do they do? The roots of the trees holds the soil and it reduces the soil erosion. Then they are also important for rain. That is trees help in making rain. And that is why we can store water in various forms. Then trees release oxygen gas which is very important for all the living beings living on the earth. So trees release oxygen gas needed by all the living beings. Right? So oxygen is a very important gas for all the living beings because all the living beings breathe in oxygen and trees release oxygen. So we should plant more and more trees so that the air can be fresh and clean. So we can get fresh and clean air and we should breathe in the fresh air. Right? So that we can remain healthy and fit. 
so how is it possible yes it is due to planting of trees not the cutting of trees right that is why we call cutting down of trees in large number as deforestation so children what is deforestation yes cutting down of trees in large numbers is called deforestation so deforestation is very bad we should not cut down trees in large numbers right and children we see many such examples for which trees are cut down right so we cut down trees for many purposes for example for making clothes then for making paper for making medicines for making furniture so children we cut down trees for many purposes we should not cut down too many trees at one time always remember because at one time if we would cut too many trees then we would not be getting oxygen gas and also it will not reduce soil erosion and the trees which help in making rain would not be able to make rain right so it will be very harmful for us so we should not cut down too many trees at one time what happens if we cut down too many trees at one time yes it harms our environment because they would then we not able to help us how they could not be able to help us yes by holding the soil by making rain by releasing oxygen these would not be possible without trees right so if our environment is harmed by cutting down of trees all these things would not be possible means we would not be getting oxygen gas we would not be getting rain and it would not be able to hold the soil so it is very important for us to plant trees so always plant more and more trees rather than cutting it so children paper is made from wood pulp you must be knowing because you are using paper every day right in school at home everywhere right so for writing you need paper and from where does this paper come from yes it is coming from the plants from the trees paper is made from wood pulp it takes the timber of 7000 trees to make the paper for just one edition of a newspaper right so you can imagine that how many number of trees we would be cutting to use the paper right for getting the paper so always remember that you should recycle it that is why recycling is so very important all right children so do not ever waste paper so children now we will study about another topic that is how to save our trees this is very important for us so listen carefully and implement it children we need to plant more trees than we cut down why yes because as we saw before we need trees to reduce soil erosion for rain and also for the oxygen gas which we breathe in so children we can say that planting trees in large numbers is called afforestation what it is called as afforestation so children cutting down of trees in large numbers is called deforestation 
and planting trees in large numbers is called afforestation okay so this is the big difference and the main difference between afforestation and deforestation and you should plant trees you should not cut down trees in large number children always remember that each one of us should plant at least one tree right because of this we would be able to get fresh air and it would also be able to reduce soil erosion and we can use such trees in the future right so always remember that you should plant at least one tree because it takes many years to grow and for cutting it just takes one minute right so always plant one tree at least then we should not waste paper right but try to reuse as much as possible because a lot of trees are cut down to make paper right so we should recycle it rather than cutting trees so always remember that you should not waste paper then we should not cut down the whole tree if we need only a few branches or only a few leaves right in many things we need few leaves or few branches in many occasion or many festivals we just need flowers or we just need it brand its branches or leaves for that you should not cut down the whole tree right so always remember do not cut the whole tree if you need only branches or leaves or fruits or flowers from it so children you must be knowing that in india one mahotsav is celebrated for a week in the month of july every year right so one mahotsav is such a type of festival which is celebrated for a week means for one week in the month of july every year and in this festive or in this festival we can say that lakhs of trees are planted all over the country during these seven days that is why it is celebrated for a week so for the whole one week means during these seven days in the month of july every year lakhs of trees are planted all over the country and this program is called as or this festival is called as one mahotsav right so always remember that you should also participate in this occasion children the united nations also observes a day called as the world environment day so what happens on this day why do they celebrate world environment day yes this day is very important in the united nations because on this day people talk about ways to save our environment and they implement on the ways to save their environment right so united nation observes a day called as the world environment day right so they save their environment they give ideas they share their ideas with the people on this very good day and we celebrate world environment day on 5th of june every year right so you should participate in such occasion and you should also give or think the ways to save our environment right our earth is a very beautiful planet so we should plant more trees rather than cutting down the trees for our greedy purpose right 
so always remember that you should save your environment and you should also plant more and more trees okay and trees help us in many ways okay so it is our duty to take care of our environment right so children i hope that you enjoyed this session about our earth and you learned many things about keeping our earth green so children keep planting trees and think ways to save our environment okay children so we will meet in the next session with the new lesson till then keep learning keep enjoying thank you children